I got a ride or die Today I've picked up this ST150 and it has a black box installed into it. This is going to be one of the weirdest videos I've ever done because I can't actually go and enjoy this car. That's the biggest problem here. As a car enthusiast and automotive person that does stuff on YouTube, I'm not going to say journalist, but is it actually worth you doing this? Now, yes, it is in the terms that you do save money and you do save on your premium across the year. But as an enthusiast, do I actually want to drive this thing? If I can't enjoy it, what's the point in having it very very strong words now you may be asking yourself Jamie what is a black box of course I didn't grow up in the era where this was a thing your insurance company didn't ask you to put a black box in your car so for me I've never actually experienced any of this so I had to do a little bit of research on this video to actually work out what it all means now if you were to put a black box in your car it monitors many different things about your driving and then they'll give you a discount on your insurance now this sort of varies but the reality is you're probably going to be saving around 500 pound a year to actually put a black box in your car this one right here is driven by a 19 year old that has one year's nose claims and he is paying a thousand pounds a year to insure this thing that's not monthly he's actually paying that in one lump sum now if he didn't go with a black box it would have been 1500 pound a year so he has saved quite a marginable amount of money on his insurance so he's saved himself 500 pound in this first initial year of driving this car but that meant that you had to put a black box in the car now he hasn't had his first report back because it's based on a points system you need to be over or I believe to be over the 5% of the national average of bad drivers in the UK so if you're over that you're all good if you're not you're in trouble now the positives are yes you do get to save money on your insurance you save 500 pound which as a young driver that is incredible money to be saving on your insurance but it comes at the biggest cost where you can't actually enjoy this car whatsoever now me and the owner did have a chat about this and he said but he wanted the car but it came with the black box that's just how it was and i completely respect him for doing that and it is a huge saving across the year on his insurance but it does mean he has to worry constantly now please do not get me wrong i'm not here to slag off black boxes and i'm not here to slag off the idea of putting them in a faster more exciting car isn't something you should do because i do believe at a young age you should be getting into these cars if you can financially get into one if insurance is cheaper definitely go and do it if you don't mind catering to this black box being in your car please go and do it the positive side of having one of these black boxes in the car now first is definitely cheaper car insurance a 500 pound saving on this car on a 1500 pound insurance policy means it's a thousand pound a year to actually insure this car that is a lot cheaper now of course it monitors what you're doing in the car so the black box monitors your driving which means that yes you could become a better to drive from it and most black boxes will come with an app so you can sort of check your scores and how many penalty points you have on your driving and it can be a handy tool for learner drivers and new drivers highlighting areas where they can improve in their driving now evidence in an accident that should be a positive for me because there's no cameras on this car, when you do get into an accident, or if you did get into an accident, all that box will show is uh, braking, you know, sudden stop, and your location and speed. It doesn't really show the accident itself. So, although that's a positive, it is a slight negative, because I don't think that's really a good marketing strategy. Having one of these black boxes in your car, because visually, you can't see the accident happening. So, for me, that's a good and a bad thing. And, of course, it means you can track your car. So, if the car ever got stolen, you know exactly where it was if the black box was still plugged in but to be honest you could just unplug it if you're going to steal this car um you'd be a bit silly to not unplug that because it's right in front of you now the real reason why i'm doing this video the disadvantages of having one of these in the car now i grew up in a generation where this didn't exist this thing wasn't available on the market but it meant that your insurance price was your insurance price there was no real negotiation in the fact that you could have a black box in your car and save a load of money but of course there's loads of gray areas on these things like 
curfews. This car cannot go out at night past 10 p.m. So if you're out with your mates and you're loving life and it's half nine, you look down, you've got 40 minutes to get home, you're gonna be late home. The car is gonna know that and the black box is plugged in and it knows full well what time it is and it knows how fast you're going so you can't rush home on the curfew and it means that in the morning before 5 p.m. this car cannot go out. So you have quite a large curfew there and I remember, you know, harping back to my good old days of going out with my mates. We were always out past 10 o'clock. In fact, when I was young, I used to work work until 10 o'clock and then go out so for me as a young driver if I was driving right now this would not work for me whatsoever now another thing to point out is penalties in certain areas now some of these black boxes not necessarily this one will actually show unsafe areas for you to drive if you go into these areas or down these roads it will actually give you penalty points for driving through these areas or roads that to me is complete insanity this will of course negatively impact your score on your black box hidden fees with your insurance so if you go over the mileage cap the curfew or your driving's a little bit bad they will either cancel the policy or charge you more now this is the biggest thing because of course you want to save money on your car insurance so you're going to put one of these in your car then if you slip up a couple of nights across the week where you're out with your mates and you don't notice the time and you rush back home that is going to go completely against you and on your points it's going to then either charge you more or they want to cancel the policy Policy, which of course means you'll have a cancellation fee and various other fees to go with it so look at it that way if you really do enjoy your car and you want to go and enjoy it this is 100% not the thing to go for and for frequent drivers now I drive a lot all the time I always have even in my first car and my second car and all that so if you're a frequent driver this would definitely not work for you either the saving of money just isn't worth the inconvenience of actually having one of these in your car if you need to get somewhere or if you slip up a little bit and they charge you the amount of charges if you're a frequent driver i do think would equate to the normal price of insurance so in that aspect if you do drive all the time like i do like i have you know my first car i used to drive absolutely everywhere enjoying myself it would be a complete inconvenience and you would probably rack up a couple of negative points on that black box and then they would end up charging you but now for the real reason why i'm doing this video i want to go and drive this thing now and sort of come up with some sort of idea as to why you would go for this and maybe pros and cons of actually driving with one of these black boxes in so let's jump in <laughs> the video where I usually really go and enjoy myself in one of these little young drivers cars and today I'm not sure like it's a bit unfortunate in a way that this is the reality of what I'm driving this is really a shame to own this car as a young driver now because right now that black box is recording everything that I'm doing in the car it's recording my throttle response and how much I bury my foot it's measuring how quickly I go around the corner my speed into a corner out of a corner in the speed limit I don't know it takes away the love for owning something enjoyable as a young person it is, it is a huge shame and although I get it I understand that you do save money and it is a very good thing for young drivers out there because you can get into a nicer car and own this car as a young person for a fraction of what you would usually be paying but for the sake of 500 quid and I know I'm talking now you know 31 and 500 quid on insurance for me if you were going to pay it monthly would be understandable that's the way I would do it. I wouldn't necessarily go down the route of um, actually getting this thing I would personally go and find out how much it was without the black box and with the black box over monthly payments because it might only be 30 40 quid a month yes that is a lot of money for a young driver I get that but it defeats the object of having this car in your possession and enjoying it if you can't go and enjoy it the curfew as well the curfew of it being 10 p.m. I remember going out into the early hours of the morning in my first cars and enjoying them with my friends we weren't dangerous driving we were just enjoying cars and getting into the scene and this really does mean you can't do that and that is my biggest thing I understand it is all down to money I understand there is people out there that will be going yes but I can't afford it and I get that if it's the affordability you're after you're going to have to go down the route of actually getting one of these in your first car in your second car when you're young 
And as I've already said, the owner is 19 and he's paying a thousand pound a year for this thing. And it would have been 1500 quid to actually have it without a black box. For me as a young driver, I would have rather gone down the route of just paying the extra 500 pound across the year on a monthly budget and doing it that way. But unfortunately, you're talking to a person, and I am the person that came from a generation where this didn't exist. You had a car and you paid out to have it. That was the way it was. And I get that insurance premiums are high and it is one of those things that young drivers will have to cope with. And this is an easy way or a cheaper way of getting the car you want. It does mean it comes at a massive cost. You can't enjoy this car whatsoever. I'm sat here worried about the speed limit, worried about how I'm driving this car with my braking, with my accelerating, and I can't enjoy it. I can't hear the sound of the Miltec on full chat. I can't hear the sound of the Ram Air coming on when I put my foot down. You don't feel the 150 odd horsepower that these came out of the factory with. And to me, that is the biggest shame because I review a lot of cars. I shoot a lot of cars. I drive a lot of cars. And this is the first one where I'm just sort of minding my own business driving like I would to work in the morning. Not really spanking it, not enjoying it. And we're going down a road that I enjoy a lot. I've driven a lot of cars down here and this is the slowest and least eventful time I've ever been down here. That isn't me whining on about how, oh, it's terrible and stuff like that, because I get it. If you want to save money, this is the only way you're going to get a car like this when you're young. To me though, I'd find a different way. I would try and pay monthly. I would try and not have one of these in my car because even going around this corner I'm so worried about setting that off and getting a bad score and then the insurance going up anyway I don't know guys let me know in the comments below what you think I'm now stuck behind a tractor so it's not like I can enjoy this car anyway it is a shame and I do think a lot of people are going to grow up you know young in these sorts of cars and not really get to enjoy them which is my biggest worry people that love cars then put a black box in an exciting, fun car. It does take the whole spice, the whole excitement out of owning one of these things. And that isn't me harping on about how bad it is to have a black box in your car. Because this is the first time I've driven something with this in and it is just a constant worry for me. Because I don't want it to spike up and the braking and the cornering go up onto a score and then they don't want to insure you or you have to then drive for a whole month like Miss Daisy worrying about how you're actually driving. It's just a shame, isn't it? It's such a shame that this is the reality. If you've got a black box, let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the whole thing as well. If you're an older gentleman, older lady, didn't grow up in this era of black boxes in cars just like me, and you're a bit confused as to why you would ever want to put one in an exciting car, I don't know, maybe it's just me, and maybe I'm making this video for people that, that may already have one. So please let me know below your stories, what's happened with your black boxes, what you've been charged as well. I would really like to know charges on one of these. This has been fitted um, the past couple of weeks, so he hasn't actually had any charges or any reports back yet on this black box. So it'd be very interesting to see what other people's stories are like and what you've experienced by having a black box in your car. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Unfortunately, it wasn't as eventful as my other videos with little cars like this because of that black box. That is the reality. Anyway guys, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.